Hi, everyone. My name is Taylor Trotter, and I'm an associate marriage and family therapist and associate professional clinical counselor working with hearyou.org. And today I'm here in partnership with Brother Be Well to provide an explanation between mindfulness and mindlessness and why both are important at different times. So we might have heard the term mindfulness being thrown around, especially now when we're in a time that we've been dealing with navigating a pandemic, possibly working from home, or possibly going into the office or transitioning back during this time, and everything feels so fast paced. So mindfulness allows us a moment to kind of pause and be consciously aware of our surroundings, as well as just what's happening within us in that moment, be it physically, emotionally, mentally, all of that coming from a very non-judgmental space. And it is really important for us to find moments to just pause and check in with ourselves, right? Because a lot of times we may find ourselves on more of the mindless activity end where we're leaning towards watching something as a way to just disconnect for a bit. And for many, that might be seen as somewhat of a negative thing. However, it serves a purpose as well. Both have their purpose and both need a sense of balance. So having moments of mindfulness throughout the day, such as meditating or just taking out time to check in with yourself throughout the day or throughout your workday, if possible, is very important. And then in the evening, sometimes we just need moments to watch something that we enjoy, our favorite TV show, maybe having a really good snack, something that doesn't require a lot of mental energy. The one thing I would ask for you to maybe reflect on is how often do I find myself in a mindless activity and maybe am I running away from something in that moment where it'd be helpful to check in and be a bit mindful as to what's coming up in my body and I can lean into an activity such as journaling, finding ways to express myself where I can get that out versus possibly avoiding what might be bothering me both serve their purpose. I encourage you to reflect on where maybe you can add a little bit more mindfulness to your day and check in as well as if you're being a bit too aware all the time, is there a way that you can disconnect for a little bit and find some time to do something that you really enjoy? Again, my name's Taylor Trotter with hearyou.org reminding you, brother, be well.